Thank you. And my guests today are the co-founders of the official DuPont Circle Snowball Fight. They are Michael Lippin and Ami Greener. They will be here shortly. You'll be able to see them, meet them, and hear all about this great snowball fight. They also have some great souvenirs you need to check out. They have wonderful sweatshirts, mugs, and buttons, and you name it, they have it. And on their Facebook page, yes, there's more. There's over 6,000 fans. Can you imagine? And they also have a Twitter page. So, man, these guys are excellent. These are the snowball men. Welcome. Thank you. So nice to have you, both of Thanks, you. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Now, how did this all begin? It began in mid-December uh, when we got a forecast of a big snowstorm coming to Washington. I thought it would be a lot of fun to uh, get some friends together for a snowball fight in DuPont Circle, which is where I live. So I thought, let's create a Facebook group page, let's invite all my friends, and see how many we get. Uh, we only got six people that day, so it wasn't very much. But it ended up growing. It how did, did that happen? Magic. Well, <laughs> The magic of snowballs. Fast forward to, to February, and I hear of another snowstorm coming to Washington. And I thought, okay, let's see if we can do better than December 19th. Let's see if we can get more than six people showing up. So I re-invited all of my friends to join the Facebook group. And uh, I also asked Ami here to uh, tell all of his friends about it. And uh, on the Thursday before that Saturday snowball fight, the big one on February 6th, we had 33 members of the group. Then we started doing something else. We started using Twitter and reaching out to uh, other people. Right. Um, so basically, uh, we talked that Thursday late in the morning. I talked to Michael. Um, and Michael said, I, I want this one to be a real big one. I want it, you know, media and thousands of people. And so basically, I, I tweeted my first tweet, actually, that day. I had a Twitter account, and I actually used it just to follow. And um, um, Michael and I wrote a small press release. We sent it out to some of the blogs. We sent it out to uh, um, you know, some of the radio TV stations in DC. And it started, it got a life of its own. And we had some other people also we asked to send out. And, and uh, you know, that Thursday night, we started looking. At, that Thursday night, it reached 1,000 people. And uh, Michael was following, following the numbers. Um, some, um, by Friday, the radio stations, TV stations had caught on to it, uh, like um, the blogs. Um, WTOP was NPR, uh, Channel 8, I think uh, local Fox, they were talking about it already uh, on Friday. Um, uh, you know, uh, Washington Post uh, wrote something about it, uh, the local NBC, they had it also on TV and also on, uh, on, on their website. And then the indicator that I, I, Michael and I were following, we were looking, you know, we were looking for DuPont Snowball on Twitter, and every few minutes someone was saying, oh, let's go there, it's cool, it's like you guys all go it. Exactly. Coming. The snowstorm was coming. This was, I, I hate to use this pun, but this was the snowball effect. <laughs> it really was. I mean, <laughs> Friday night, 4,000 members. Uh, and Saturday, just before it started at 2 p.m., we hit 5,000. I couldn't believe it. That is the snowball effect. So what did you see when you, what did you think when you saw those numbers getting more and more and more and thousands? This was, uh, this was quite astounding to me. It showed me really what the power of, uh, of social media uh, can result in. Uh, the fact that, that is the power so of someone media, right. can get an idea out there into the public space and to see it resonate so widely uh, was just such a thrill. I'll never forget it. And you're getting an award. Right. Um, this is something we were notified uh, this morning, I think, were they? The, the DuPont uh, um, ANC? The, uh, uh, the uh, Neighborhood Council of, of DuPont Circle. That yeah, they're was giving great. Us You're going to the Brookings us. Institute. Yeah, exactly. My God, you guys are like huge. <laughs> well, they they decided to uh, give us a special award just for putting Dupont Circle on the map. Uh, this was a snowball fight that was reported around the world, which was something beyond my imagination. It was around the world, and I want to see some pictures. Go right ahead. I see we have less than a minute left, so let's uh, wrap up, wrap up those pictures. Ah, where are those pictures? Pictures, pictures, pictures. Here they come. Wow, how many people were there? Two or three thousand. I mean, uh, I think, uh, you know, at one time there might have been two thousand, but people came and went. It was, uh, people were there from two till six thirty. And so, um, can't really estimate, but my guess is people actually participated probably closer to three thousand. Wow, and, and you so were standing close to the fountain itself, right? Uh, Michael Look, was up there's there. Like, 
It's amazing. Look at all those we, we people. Were there. The, the people who are in the fountain itself, that was the, the focal point of the, host, of the whole Snibble fight because it's right at the center of the park. They were taking the most incoming fire wow. from all the people surrounding them. How long did this last? Well, about four and a half hours. Look, it, they're, they're they keep they keep on going. Yeah, what about the future? Fight. And there was there was a second <laughs> fight which you saw a photograph of just at the end there on the Wednesday and on the Wednesday after the Saturday. And we're going to see if uh, there's another snowball fight. If there's, if there's another snowstorm coming to Washington, we'll try to do this again. And we're going to have you back again. Thank, Thank you, you, Michael. You are wonderful. Okay. Thank you, Ami. And yay, snowball fight! Official Dupont Circle snowball fight. Check them out. And now back to the desk.